from Brown Face TV and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a big birthday haul or beauty and skin hair uh, birthday haul. I'm just going to mention briefly because my hair has been hearing. Uh, I did pick up, well, okay, so I had purchased, Curlbox had a special on um, Mishi beauty products, which, which I've heard about before. Uh, you will hear my kids and their friends outside. Uh, yeah, so they had a special uh, five full size products uh, in the curl box box for thirty five dollars. So I ordered that like early July, and I have been using them ever since. I actually was gonna cut my hair, and I think because of these products, I have not cut it. Um, and the promise I made to my child. But anyway, so I did a. Uh, uh, that's how I achieved this hair, and I'm just. I don't know why I'm talking about it because I'm not gonna show the products yet. See, I wasn't lying about the Michi. I had to re-up. And this, uh, I'm going to do a review, but this is my, this is our favorite product in this house. I had to get the big one. I might have to get, I think there's a bigger one. But this, these products are just like life. Oh my gosh. But if you want me to do a review, because the products have had me in love with my hair, just the moisture. So that was actually the first big, uh, I guess, uh, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm including in beauty hair products that I purchased for myself. But I will do a separate video separate review if anyone uh is interested but I've, I've just been loving the way my hair looks so i just had to talk about this and this hair is old if you watch my uh last video which should have been my uh birthday vlog i had got my hair straightened so this is like a month after this thursday is coming thursday will be a month after so it's straightened but it's reverting back so yeah all right let's get into the actual haul all right we're gonna start with ulta uh the 21 days 21 days of beauty started like a couple days before my birthday so i was in and out in and out of ulta anyway i'm not sure why i purchased these they look interesting i was watching i watched the clean beauty code and that's another thing most of these products are clean beauty products because that is what i kind of um gravitate towards um i do have other products from mac and stuff like that which are not clean but for the majority of my skincare beauty they are clean mostly mo mainly paraben free because i don't i try not to use anything with parabens uh yeah anyway so beauty bakery these eggs they're organic i'm not sure why sponge these sponges i'm not sure why they need to be organic my five-year-old has already asked me for some but yeah anyway so yeah i, I just love the fact that they have brown like uh brown eggs for our skin you know for the brown girls skin color i just thought that was i don't know i just thought that was pretty interesting so we'll see how these work i do use the ones from i have a beauty blender and i have i use the ones from oh my god sonia Kashuk from target and those work perfectly fine but i wanted to try something different and this was like six for 18 one beauty blender is i think 18 or 20 dollars so it works out next i picked up my favorite mascara which is the it uh it cosmetics mascara i did oh did i i don't have it here i ordered it it's still at sephora but it, it wasn't my it wasn't part of the beauty haul i just actually ordered it uh these i had before just sitting here and i need to pack them out so this is my favorite mascara but then again i was watching clean beauty Code, code and she was talking about her favorite clean mascara so i'm going to investigate that i have one sitting at sephora and then I per I wanted before the whole clean beauty code video I uh, Ulta had a sale. This was five dollars on their mascara. And what I what interested me about this was that there are like four levels. So however you want your how long or thick you want your lashes, you just put it to the levels. I did um, test this last week and it held up. I went to the gym. It didn't smudge. It didn't run. And this was like five dollars. So if anybody's interested. And then this, someone else was talking about this. I'm not sure who, who spoke about this. Ulta Pencils. This was, I think this one was on sale as well. But this is, this rivals MAC. And if you have thin brows, I don't know if you can see how thin this is. Look at that. Uh, it, wonderful. And again, I wore this to the gym. If you have sparse brows like me, I wore this to the gym and there was no running. It, it, it stayed on all day. And this was about regular price i think it's about nine dollars so yeah this is it's good i had to re-up on my rose rose hip seed oil yeah rose hip seed oil because winter not winter it's getting colder and i usually use this one in the winter squalling i also love i have to re-up on that but that one is more for the um the warmer months because it's a little bit lighter this is more penetrating so yeah and i've been actually using this on my body i just started it because 
I wasn't getting through the whole bottle of oil and I was, I was just like, how else am I going to use this up? So I've been using it on my body and ooh, nice and smooth, nice and soft. Back to clean beauty code. Uh, I wanted to try a natural or clean, uh, what do you call these things? Heat protectant. So she recommended Bondi Boost. So I went there to look for the heat protectant, but I was like, how often am I really gonna, how often am I gonna really straighten my hair? Because when I went in, it was just, it was already straightened. Uh, I do blow dry my daughter's hair from time to time because it's just so thick and it's just a little easier to work with when it's blow dried. So I may pick that up, but when I was there, the saleswoman was uh, was just really raving about Botany Boo. She said it's very good, her coworkers use it. So I picked up this intensive spray and this is more for hair growth. So I've been using this on and on. Like whenever my hair's in flat twists, I'll spray it. I spray it on my edges. I spray it in the middle here. Spray it and then just rub it in. It has tea tree and peppermint. And I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see what else is in it. But uh, I heard this was really good. And I did some... I, I looked at some reviews online. I didn't really see any... Not a lot of brown people talking about this. So maybe I should probably do a review. But once I um, use the product some more. But I think I am going to go back. There's a conditioner that people were raving about. Well, from the reviews I saw. And uh, the heat protectant. I didn't really see much on that. But I'm going to try it. I totally forgot to talk about the uh, from Ulta, the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I have my eyeshadows uh, sitting here and I haven't been using them. So I bought this. This is the anti-aging one, which I know this one is very popular. And I had a sample of this back, back, back in the day. It was before shutdown and I remembered it working well. It was on sale. It was half off uh, during the 21 Days of Beauty. So I picked this up from Ulta as well. It's a one-off. I, I just love. This is black owned. This is Ami Cole. I heard about this from clean beauty code and i think monroe still not the powder but i think she mentions the brand it's black owned clean and um i don't know i just loved i just love the little box that it came in oh my gosh so i'm gonna try this powder i don't i'm not really a big setter of my makeup but i'm going to try uh i have some sephora powders and i haven't really been using them but i want to see how this works and i was just like okay why did you order this and order this now when you're going into winter and I like more of a dewy look when I'm going into winter, but it's all good. Oh, this has a 36, 36 month shelf, shelf life. So it works. Even if I don't get to it right now, I will get to it when the weather warms up. And this is, I've got the translucent. I didn't even open it. Look at that. Translucent. All right. Biosance was having a 30% off uh, during my birthday, a little before my birthday. It was before Labor Day. Anyway, uh, I've raved about these products, especially the Squalene Omega Repair Cream. This is my go-to in the wintertime. I also love, and I can't remember, it's the Fresh the fresh Cream. So I'm going to re-up on that and just use these two during the uh, winter months. This is very, um, if your skin, to me, if your skin is irritated, like right now, the transition of the seasons. Yeah, my skin has already started to act up. So this is... It's just very basic, if that makes sense. Basic moisturizing because it doesn't uh, uh, irritate whatever's going on with your skin. So re-upped on this. Uh, re-upped, I've been trying different sunscreens. I uh, I love the ones by Supergoop. And I, I've tried the Black Girl sunscreen, which I actually liked. I, I ended up liking it. But I wanted to try the one I, I started with. So I went back to the one. Can you guys see that? It's by Biosance, but I went back to the mineral uh, uh, sunscreen from Biosance. All right, I, I've i always gotten samples of this. I've never gotten the full-size product. Uh, it's pretty pricey. And I've been using the, the retinol from the Inky List, which is only about $9. And I do love that one, but I wanted to step it up a bit. So I'm going to try this one. Well, I've already tried it, but it, just in the sample packs. And I've ordered the samples many a time. So I said, all right, Marsha, let's just take... But let's just dive right in and I am going to try this, which I've already been doing, the retinol serum from uh, Biasan. Okay, from Sephora, I re-upped on my You To The People Kale and Green Tea. I usually just get the small one because this one actually lasts me a long time. And I was trying hard not to like it, but I feel like I keep going back to it. So this is when I want every, well, this to me is not very moisturizing. So it's kind of like, to me, clarifying. So when I want that clean, clean on my skin, I use this. I even put it on a sponge sometimes and rub it around. So it's gentle, but uh, clarifying. So I use this. I use this uh, year round. This is a small one. 
And then I had to re-up on my uh, First Aid Beauty. I've been using this one for about, how old is my child? Like 10 years. This is my go-to. This one is a little bit more moisturizing. And this one, you don't, this is like, you don't have to double cleanse with this. Like if you have makeup on and you, light makeup, not a lot of makeup. A lot of makeup, I think you should double cleanse. But if you have on light makeup and you just use this, and then you go in with a toner, the makeup is pretty much gone. There are days when I've just used this and there are no actual traces of makeup left. So um, yeah, I've been using this for uh, years. And I bought the smaller one because this one usually gets me through. I had bought the bigger one when I started and I never finished it. I think this is a 12 month shelf life. I think if it was a little longer, I would probably purchase the bigger one, but I'm pretty good with the smaller. All right, I love Origins, Origins products, but I haven't used them in a while. And I was using another scrub or exfoliator. It was by Tatcha and I really liked it. But when I went to re-up on that one, they didn't have the small one in stock because I used that one and that one is, um, that one usually takes me through a year. I don't need the bigger one. It just, for me, it doesn't make sense uh, because I only really exfoliate uh, once, once a week. Anyway, uh, so I saw this one. I was like, you know what, let me try it. It was a bigger, bigger bottle same price so i said let me try it it has a strong orange smell uh yeah it's so far it's okay so far so good i've heard everyone talking about skin tints which i have my ride or die skin tint it is by I'm about to say black opal it is not black opal omg i'll put it up on the screen now i can't remember my oh my god because it's not it's not in any main well it's at macy's but it's not like mainstream any do they used to sell it in um Ulta or Sephora? They used to sell it in Sephora and now they don't. Oh my God, why can't I remember? Anyway, I'll put it on the screen. I have that one, which is my ride or die. Whenever I wear that, people are like, oh my gosh, your skin. But I wanted something with SPF because sometimes I just want to get up and go. So I found these, I did some research. I do have, um, it's like a skin, a uh, tinted moisturizer by Tower 28. I don't know, I, I was very underwhelmed. It's thick, but I don't know. I was very underwhelmed by that one. And then the, the skin match, I don't know. Anyway, so I picked up two just to figure out what color I would be. These both actually work fine, but I think the chestnut is um, works a little better. Uh, and I've been enjoying this. It's very hydrating, so you'll get that sheen and you'll get uh, SPF and SPF of 30. But this little small container, it was like $22. So I don't know. The bigger one was, I probably should have gotten the big one. I think the big one was like 36. Maybe I'll get the bigger one. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of test to see how it goes first before I invest in the bigger one. Last but not least from Sephora, I got or picked up this deep cleaning brush and sponge shampoo. I love the little small soap bar from Sephora. That cleans your brushes like nobody's business. I have put Mackenzie in charge of cleaning my brushes and that's what she use, uses to clean them. But it gets a little messy and then, you know, that whole thing with the bar and you're digging into the whole thing. It's just, it was just too much. So I wanted something that we can just pump out, wash and go. And the sales woman at Sephora recommended this one. And actually it has not disappointed so far. So, and it was the same price because the price of the small one went up. I was able to find the little soap for $8 and now they only have the $16 jar. And this was the same price, $16. So I picked this one up instead to test. All right, from Soko Glam, this is just one item. You guys know I love this. If you have been here for a while, I love this product so much. I bought one for my bestie. This, I, I, yeah, this is the, it's beauty water. It's always sold out. It's very gentle, but it cleans everything on your face. It, oh my God, this thing, it is a Korean brand. Look at this, I can't even. Okay, they have like cleansing, moisturizing, lightly exfoliating fragrance, but then it is in, oh God, is it Chinese or is it Korean? But I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. Anyway, the beauty water, I have a little bit, I was struggling, I have a little bit left uh, upstairs. I'll just take it out so I can show you. Woo! This is my best friend. If I was if I was stranded on a desert island, I, I would need to take this, I, I would. To make up the shipping and handling, because I think it was like $35, the beauty water was 25, so I got some of these, you know, these masks are very big, uh, and they were like $3 or so a pack. A, three dollars per pack so this is um and soko glam they sell a lot of korean or asian and hi korean asian uh beauty products so i picked these up hopefully i can read what is on the back along the lines of clean makeup clean skincare so this was very it was impulsive but yeah 
So Clean Beauty Code, again, she was talking about this uh, liquid liner from PYT. What does PYT stand for? I don't know. She was raving about this. So I ran to get this from Target. When I got it from, I, got, I did the drive up and it was like open. The whole thing was, it was a hot mess. So I went back to exchange it. Everything was just a hot mess, the eyeliners. And it didn't even look like this. This I had to get from Ulta. Uh, and look at it, nicely packaged. Yeah, Target, I'm not sure what was going on. Everything was open. You could tell people were like opening it, opening it and testing. And then when I went to Target to return that mess, that uh, eyeliner, the PYT products were 40% off. So I was like, okay, let me just pick everything up. Like, yeah, uh, this is a face primer right here and they're clean. And this is a setting, a setting spray. So this might work best for now, I guess, in the cooler months. And then there is, uh, I have another eye base primer. So I'm gonna see how it works between, how this compares to the Urban Decay, Urban Decay Primer Potion. So we see how that goes. This is a one-off. I just ordered some more Bioderma because um, this, this is the only thing I really like to clean off when I'm wearing mascara. Uh, this is really good. And I usually go with a smaller bottle, but I felt like being back at work, I was using, I, I went through that smaller bottle. So I ended up ordering the bigger one from, they don't sell this at Ulta. Where did I get this from? Target. Oh, it was a Walmart. One of those, Target or Walmart. This is the one for sensitive eyes. And last but certainly not least, I re-upped, well, not re-upped. I wanted to try some things from LYS. They, were, they had a 20% off and then there was something else going on. Uh, look at this, this is really cute. Now I'm gonna say this just got here. This is what took me so long to do this birthday haul. This took forever, okay, forever. So when, when I, I was looking at this product for a while, this is the bronzer, the cream bronzer. This has gotten rave reviews. I love the packaging, but the thing was sold out for, I want to say about a month, okay? But luckily it came back in stock right before, like right, right before my birthday. So that's when I ordered this. And this color, now, I'm, I don't know, I tested it a little bit and it may be a little dark, but I thought this was the best one. I can probably, of course, share it out. But um, if it really happens not to work, I'll just pass this off to my little sister who's just a little bit darker than me. And I think they did come back in stock. I actually got a notification. They came back in stock on Ulta, this, I mean, I'm sorry, Sephora. This color is uh, Strength. I bought another foundation because I do like the way this, I'm trying to find a clean, I want to, I have my NARS, NARS is my holy grail. I love that one, I will never give that up. It's not clean, it is paraben free, but we're gonna keep that one, because that one, your face is beat. But I really wanted to pair, I wanted another foundation, an everyday foundation, which was clean. So I'm gonna try this one again. I know that House House Labs, Lady Gaga came out with one, and I, that one is getting rave reviews. But we'll test that one a little later. I got this one, I actually got a different color. The first color I picked up was DG6, D, that's Golden 6. And I, I liked it, but I had to bronze with that one, because you would see like in here it would match, but then here you would see that light cast, just a little bit, it wasn't bad. Or maybe it was just because it was golden. So I ended up picking up D and five. I had tested it in Sephora first, and this one seems to match, um, it, it goes with every. It goes with everything. Uh, and especially in the winter, I'm sorry, the summer when you get a little darker, I think this would be, this would be great. I probably have to bronze it in the winter. I'm sorry, in the summer, but for right now, this is, this is good up the sponge to make up the shipping and handling because I think it was like $50 because I had the 20% off. And then this blush, I have a few cream blushes from LYF, but this color, this was new and this was sold out, not this time around, but before. This is epic and it is like this deep orange. They already have it. They have an orange one. I forget, is that called Confident? I have it upstairs. It's a lighter orange. I haven't tested this one yet, but look how pretty this is, especially for the, the, um, the winter months, oh my gosh. And then orange blush on brown skin. All right, guys, that is it for my big birthday beauty haul. Let me know what you guys use what or recommend some. If you are using clean, more clean products, let me know what you recommend. Let me know what your favorite or your holy grail, holy grail products are. Leave them in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, that is it. I will speak to you next time. Bye.